Welcome back to another episode of Rock Boys Football. The fellas are back again doing another Michigan coaching hot board as Steve Klinkscale leaving Michigan, joining Jim Harbaugh in the NFL. And that leaves us talking about some defensive back coach candidates for Sharon Moore and this Michigan Wolverines program. And I think the first conversation you have to have is what kind of coach are you looking for to fill out and kind of take this defensive backs room? And my answer to that would be a young coach that's hungry on the recruiting trail. Because you look at the Wink Martindale hire, and many of you guys know we've talked about it a lot. I'm a huge fan of the hire. I don't think there was a better option to replace Mike McDonald, Jesse Minter, than the defensive coordinator that both of them coached under. The one question that you have is can Wink Martindale get it done on the recruiting trail? This is a guy that's been in the NFL for the last decade. Can he go to high schools, to parents, to kids' families, and go get it done on the recruiting trail? And I think when you're looking at mitigating some of those concerns about Wink Martindale recruiting, you can go hire position coaches that get it done on the recruiting trail. So one of the biggest things that I'm looking for in terms of Michigan filling out these position coach spots, the defensive line, the defensive back room, is going out and getting guys that have a proven track record on the recruiting trail, want to dive into some candidates that I think would be really good fits for the Michigan Wolverines. Before we get into it, just want to say thank you to you guys and a massive shout out to the Michigan fans. Many of you guys know by now I'm a huge Michigan fan. There is no program I love talking about more than this Michigan team. The amount of support, the amount of engagement, the amount of feedback you guys have given the boys in the last two weeks as we've really just dove into this coaching search for a multitude of positions. Cannot thank you guys enough. If y'all do enjoy the content, consider subscribing to the channel. We'll continue to keep you guys updated, to keep having these conversations about Michigan, their coaching staff. We can't thank you guys enough for all the support. And without further ado, let's get into this one. And the first one that comes to my mind is Mike Mickens at Notre Dame. And you take a look at some of the boxes that we want to see checked in terms of this defensive back coach. Recruiting's a priority. Mike Mickens has done a phenomenal job on the recruiting trail for Notre Dame. You look into his background, played high school football in Ohio, played for the Cincinnati Bearcats at the college level, has coached in the Midwest for a long time, has Ohio roots. And you look at Michigan, where they have a lot of their recruiting battles, is in the state of Ohio, right? And so you look at Mike Mickens, not only does he have a proven track record on the recruiting trail, he has a lot of ties to the states and to the areas that Michigan wages a lot of their recruiting battles. So I think that is a massive check for Mike Mickens. But then you look at Mike Mickens as a defensive backs coach because you don't want to get lost just trying to find pure recruiters that aren't necessarily the best coaches on the football field. You want to find that blend. Mike Mickens has done a phenomenal job in the player development standpoint. You look at guys like Benjamin Morris, Cam Hart. I mean, this is a Notre Dame secondary room that has been extremely good for the last couple of years. And so, yes, he's a very good recruiter, but he backs it up with very, very good player development. I think Mike Mickens would be a phenomenal hire. And you look at, could we poach a guy from Notre Dame? I mean, we just did that with Mike Alston a couple of years ago on the defensive line. So I think that if you're Michigan, you're getting aggressive with hiring around Sharon Moore. At the end of the day, we're all very happy about the Sharon Moore hire, right? It was best for the continuity, but you want to make sure you're surrounding Sharon Moore with a phenomenal staff. So get aggressive, try to build a strong staff around him. And I think Mike Mickens would be phenomenal as a defensive backs coach for the Michigan Wolverines. Now, the next guy I want to talk about, this is a little bit off the beaten trail. Doesn't even have a 24-7 sports profile. Corey Parker from Toledo. The reason Corey Parker stands out, one, you look at what he has done at Toledo for the NFL draft fans, Quinion Mitchell, probably going to be a first-round NFL draft pick coming from Toledo at that cornerback spot, has been phenomenal coaching this Toledo secondary. And you look at that Toledo coaching staff, there are a lot of good coaches on that staff. That's a reason they've had so much success the last couple of years. Corey Parker has done a phenomenal job coaching Toledo. You take a look at their numbers. They only gave up a 53% completion percentage to opposing quarterbacks. That was fifth best in the country and only 6.3 yards per pass attempt. That was 13th best in the country. So you look at the player development. You look at how this secondary has played under Corey Parker, you feel really good about that. Then you look at the background of Corey Parker, extensive career as a high school coach in the state of Michigan. This is a guy that 
You look at recruiting your own backyard, making sure the best players in the state of Michigan are coming to Ann Arbor. I think Corey Parker comes in and slots right in and is a very, very good coach in terms of recruiting the state of Michigan, the state of Ohio. Another guy that has the blend of elite recruiter, I think he could be. You don't really know because he's been at Toledo, but the ties to Michigan and Ohio certainly help. But then you look at what he's done at Toledo, has done a phenomenal job. This one, in my mind, would make a ton of sense for Michigan to go after. And maybe a little bit unproven because this would be a massive jump up from coaching the cornerbacks at Toledo to Michigan. But a guy that I think would be a very interesting name to kick around. Another name that I'm taking a look at here, TJ Rushing. And TJ Rushing is interesting because one, he's a guy that's looking for a job. Has kind of been all over, right? Played his football at Stanford, has some NFL experience, grew up in Oklahoma, was coaching at Texas A&M for the last couple of years. Jimbo Fisher gets fired. TJ Rushing looking for a job. Now, the conversation about TJ Rushing, one, has he been the best pure defensive backs coach in the country? That's probably not, not the case. Just saying I'm on the defensive side of the football, especially in that back end, hasn't necessarily been great. But what is really appealing about TJ Rushing is he might be one of the best recruiters in the country as we get this ad out of here. You take a look at what he's done. I mean, five-star Terry Bussey in the 2024 class, guys like Denver Harris, Smoke Bowie, Bryce Anderson. He has done a really good job recruiting, especially in the state of Texas. And you look at Michigan and Sharon Moore and what he wants to do. Yes, you want to be able to recruit the state of Michigan, the state of Ohio, but this is a Michigan program that just won a national championship. I mean, who's to say they can't recruit and go into the state of Texas and start taking some of the top talent from some of those Southern states? And I think a guy like TJ Rushing would probably allow you to do that. Now, he is much more of a pure recruiter hire than a guy that you feel really good about coming in and making this defensive backs room really well coached. I'm not saying he's a bad coach, but he didn't necessarily do a great job at Texas A&M, but he does get it going on the recruiting trail. So that's another interesting name that you could throw out. Now, there are a lot of other names that I could include here that Michigan can go after. And I guess what I'm going to bang the table for is, I mean, get aggressive. This is a Michigan program that one is a premier team and premier program at the college football landscape. It just won a national championship. This is a coaching staff and coaching positions that is extremely appealing. Again, you look at the guys that have come to Michigan and have been able to springboard themselves in their career if you're a young defensive backs coach that might be coaching at a power five program, this is a very appealing job. So I think there should be a lot of names on Michigan's boards. And I think they should be swinging a very big stick, a very aggressive stick in terms of who they want at this defensive backs coach. Uh, that's kind of where I'm at here. We'll probably continue to talk about this, continue to talk about candidates, Mike Mickens, Corey Parker, TJ Rushing, I was throwing Chris Collins from Kentucky. Again, we got Steve Klinscale from Kentucky. That seemed to work out really well. Chris Collins has done a really good job with that Kentucky secondary room taking over for Coach Klink. Those are probably some of the names that I'd be taking a look at. Again, we'll continue to cover this story, cover the names that are emerging as candidates for this Michigan program. Appreciate you guys rocking with the boys. It's been a very busy last couple of days for the Michigan Wolverines football program. We'll continue to talk about it. We'll continue to break it down. Appreciate you guys rocking with the fellas. Let me know in the comment section any names that I might have left out the list that you would like to see kind of talked about in future episodes. Appreciate y'all rocking with it, and we'll talk to y'all later.